<laughs> okay, so we are heading, where are we going, babe? Betsy said, throw on your V-neck, it's time to go get the test. <laughs> <laughs> we we're, we're like, is this Simon Cowell or is this Gentry? You will never know. It's a big day today. So Finally gonna get Jancy. <laughs> I actually think we should name it Jancy. I think that's hilarious. Does anyone else think that's funny or is it just us? It's just us, trust me. It's like our but names combined. It's like so ugly, but it's awesome. We're getting really close. We're driving down there right now and then Alyssa's gonna drive us back. No, no, no. We're gonna drive ourselves back. Actually, She's the Tesla is gonna drive us back. We're not even I'm gonna driving, drive. I'm driving the Tesla back. We don't even have to drive. It's pretty awesome. All right, babe, where are we at? We're here and I think I see it. See your baby? See our baby. I mean, technically. <laughs> Why is our car beeping at us? It's like my car's braking right as you're getting a new car. It's getting really annoying. Being very safe. It's telling us that I there's... those people are touching my car. Why are they touching your car, babe? Uh, oh, wow. All right. Which one is it? That is a great question. Tesla, here we come. All right. Let's do this. dun da 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 Is this what you thought it was gonna be, babe? Is it everything you've ever wanted? But also, it does have the, I didn't know it had the carbon fiber. Prius and then Cole? I didn't know they already had the badging for those. This so. is out of like a week. Really? Yeah. I thought I was gonna get that later. Yep, we did too. Oh my God. I love it. Okay, sorry. I love it. I think it's good. <laughs> That'll be your main key. Okay. But if you drop your phone into the bottom of a lake, you're gonna want to Oh, that's this. true. So, so just keep that in my wallet. Keep it in your wallet. Okay. And then here's the door. Do you see how that opens? Yeah. So Are you so excited? And I just ran into that one. I'm gonna give this to you. Oh, and then nice. I'm gonna put this in your back window. It's in service mode. Okay. I'll, I'll get it out of there for okay. you. Just, the car won't drive over 15 miles an hour this way. That way it's safe enough. Oh my gosh. That's what's going on with that. Yeah, so I'm like, I've never seen that screen in all the YouTube videos that I've ever seen. Yeah, watched. it's something um, just, unless it's parked inside the building, it's just perfect. That's smart. Yeah. That's so smart. Tesla has literally thought about everything and she is so cool helping us. What do you think? What's your, well, you're the coolest. What do you think? I don't know yet, babe. The white interior. worried about the white interior. <laughs> Yeah, it's when it's in service mode, you can push the accelerator all the way down and it'll just... Go 15. Just inch forward, oh, <laughs> basically. Funny. Yeah. Uh, okay. I honestly, just for me, I want to be able to go back and... Because I feel like this is so important for me. Yeah. Like, I love going back and like, oh, I used to sell cars. Mm -hmm. And so like, I'd go through the delivery process and I'm like, I should just film myself doing it and then send it to them. So they, cause everybody forgets, right? Everyone always forgets. So, okay, cool. sorry, all right. I won't interrupt anymore. So here you've got all the superchargers everywhere. Oh Everything that's glowing, you can get to with the battery on your car. Oh, so you're saying all these ones that have the, mm -hmm. I could drive there right now. You could drive there right now. Oh my gosh. Every red line is a Tesla currently supercharging. That's cool. You zoom in a little more. These are destination chargers. They're not owned by Tesla, but they are Tesla branded chargers. So it's going to depend on which business owns them, kind of if there's a cost or anything like that. Okay. Then here you have your um, Slacker account. You have the radio. I'm gonna turn that off because it's hot out. You've got your radio, you've got your streaming. So it's Slacker and that subscription is bundled up with your LTE connection. After that, it's somewhere around $100 a year to okay. maintain it. Okay. Super affordable. But it's like Spotify and Pandora mixed up because when you choose a song here, it'll actually play that song for you. But then it'll play a mix of music similar to it. That is so cool. And then if you want, you can connect it to your phone. So it's awesome. From your phone, you also have Podcast. Oh, tune in. Mm -hmm. This is the one I wanted because this will also play like my sports. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Yep. Everyone is always super excited when they can still get sports yes, on here. Yeah. <laughs> Down here you have your volume control, your window defrosters, and your seat heaters. And, and then the back can have heaters too, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's going to be in here. Okay. Driver and passenger though is going to be controlled from up front. Um, that way the driver has a little more control over where the energy is being used. So the back seats are controllable from back there. This is how you adjust the airflow, which I'm sure you've seen a million times. 
That is so weird because it was like blowing at my face super hard and I did that and now I don't feel it. Yeah. That is so weird. Okay, awesome. Because Betsy, well, my wife, she always hates when it's blowing in her face. Like it drives her nuts. Yep. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. This is life changing. I know. And then you've got your seat heaters back here. Oh, that's so Oh, let's awesome. not turn those on right now, though. You can reduce the heat. No, just kidding. Or you can turn them all off. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Okay. And you have dog mode. I don't know if you guys have a dog. Yeah, we do have, have a, dog. a dog. Awesome. Dog mode is the best. Over here, you've got the rest of your apps, which I'll let you kind of play around with. Okay. Um, there's a few redundancies for camera and charging. You've got your internet browser, your phone. You see the energy consumption of the car over the whole three miles it's ever been driven. Oh my gosh. You can see this giant spike that's at the factory where that's that comes crazy. from. And over here, you have all of your settings. Here's your light settings, your locks. Everything right now is set to automatic. You've got your car is all in standard and sport. Kind of the funnest way to drive the car off the lot. You don't want the car in chill mode your first day driving it usually. <laughs> so I recommend leaving it in standard and getting used to it. Some people get a little car sick when they're first getting used to it, at which point you can go to low and then try okay. to work back up to standard. Okay. Standard's great for your range though. Okay. Do you have questions about autopilot? I have a lot of questions. Well, I mean, I think a lot of it I just have to use it and try it. And mm -hmm. I feel like this is the section people want to talk the most about. Yeah, it's the no, most exciting. I, this for me is like, autopilot for me is like the whole reason why I was so interested in that. This is like the foundation of the car and everything else is extra. Totally agree. Yeah. Yeah, this is like, when I heard about autopilot, because we had a, our other cars like semi-autonomous or whatever, mm -hmm. but having, and this is, but having the stuff that this can do just is fascinating to me. Absolutely. So. so you're basically agreeing, you'll keep your hand on the wheel, be attentive. Totally. It's in beta, so, and you understand that. I understand that, cool. yes. Uh, your sensors need to calibrate. It'll be probably around 50 to 100 miles before your cameras have seen enough of the road to be confident. Really? Okay. Yeah. Here you have your general safety settings. You can turn on lane departure avoidance if you want it to just warn you or actually keep you in your lane when you're not in autopilot. You've got your blind spot chime, automatic emergency braking, super important part. If you're ever taking the car through an automatic car wash where uh -huh. you would put it in neutral, turn that off. The automatic emergency yeah. braking? Okay. Or else the car will stop itself in a car wash, which is really not a good thing okay. to have happen. Good to know. You'll also, here's a good chance to talk to you about this, turn off your automatic windshield wipers as well. Okay. In an automatic car wash. And then here you can set the car to do the speed limit relative to the speed limit on the road by whatever offset you'd like. I feel like if I go seven over, they're less likely to get me. Now let's, let's go seven. And I feel like I'll make, I might get a pass if I'm going seven over. <laughs> Anything above that I might get hit. <laughs> so. <laughs> here you've got your park assist chimes, your car alarm, and mobile access are all turned on. That's great. You can turn on sentry mode. You can keep it on all the time and then exclude certain favorite locations. And then speed limit mode is if you're gonna let a 16 year old borrow your car and you don't want them driving over a certain speed. Something Are you like that. kidding me? That is genius. It's great. You've got your owner's manual here. Most helpful thing in the car, index of terms. And then your glove box, which I put your registration stuff in. Awesome. Down here are your last couple things. Rear view camera, charging, and then your trunks. And then if you push this all the way down, that's drive, all the way up is reverse, and that button is park. Everything on the screen, if you forget something, it makes sense. It's just like your cell phone, so you'll find it really fast. Okay. The only thing you really need to make sure you remember is how to put the car in drive. You've got your blinker on your other side, and then how to open the door is a big one. Oh, okay, how yeah. do you? Is that this? That's that. Wait, what is it? It's just this button at yeah. like the top. Okay. And then it opens automatically? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, that was not the door. Wait, that's, I did hit that one and it hit the window, or did you happen to hit my window? No, so you you do have to still push the door open. Oh, okay, it did open. Yeah. I just didn't realize that. Okay, I thought you were saying like it like swung I open. bet everybody in the car like, I thought it like from a open, different open, company like that open, has so. a door open symbol okay. there. Push this button, once it's light blue, you can unplug it, and then that's also when you can plug it back in. It's gonna go dark blue means it's calibrating, and then once it turns green, that means it's charging, your car's fully charged. So it'll stay calibrating for a little bit. Push this, release it, pull it out, and then that cover will close by itself. You never have to force it shut. 
If you want to open it again, you can just tap in this corner or push the button on your handle. It's just blowing my mind. Yeah. I mean, I watch so many YouTube videos, but um, it's way better. It's different in person. It's way better. It's better than any video. Well, is that it? That's it. Beautiful spoiler. I'm excited <laughs> every time I, I see one still. I love this. I yeah. love it. I wish I would have just been recording with what you just did to me. <laughs> you threw my head into the seat by aggressively going. Okay, I'm just gonna take it nice and easy. No one needs to get hurt until now. Oh my god. Whoa! <laughs> I can't even hold the camera. <laughs> Is that the craziest? Okay, California Screamer. Yes. Which one's faster? This or that? This. That's that what is. I feel. Well, I assume that's how I feel. <laughs> so now when people are around us, you're gonna start seeing other cars. Oh, it's probably not calibrated. But normally you would you would see this car right here yeah. going around us. Oh. Why do I have to I shouldn't be driving myself? I'm in a Tesla and should be driving me. So we're gonna have to take a long road trip to get a calibrated. So we're gonna have to go to Vegas. That's what I didn't realize. Honestly, you know what's crazy? I'm in a car, but I still feel like I'm. I it's have awesome vision. Because the windows vision. are so like open. Because normally I feel like I can't see anything, uh -huh. and I honestly feel like I have really good um, vision. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Ginger's never love driving more. I just have to get out of this. <laughs> oh my gosh! But do you see what happened there? So like I was merging, this car was for some reason doesn't, if you put on your blinker and merge in front of somebody, it's like you offended their family. Like they just don't let you over, it's crazy. But what's great is now I can just, Sling I could punch it safely them. and I could go in front of them. It was like, everybody's happy. All right, okay, what do so you this next? is so crazy. So like changing lanes, I literally, so say I want to be in like, I don't know, let's go to the left lane now, right? So I just, I hit, turn because now I'm an autopilot it's calibrated and I can literally just get over like there was a spot back there where I tried to I hit my turn signal but a car all of a sudden came into that lane and it recognized it and just kept me in my lane and then when there was an opening it shot me over but it merges you good it's like normal aggressive merging like yeah. you would normally do it's not like this uh, super slow you need a huge gap it's like in tight traffic it would be nice to just click it and kind of like survey everything and know that it's sensing everything way better than a than i could do turning my head and then maybe hitting something in front of me yeah it's like blowing me away and you love it i look at your face <laughs> you love it moment do of truth die moment. will our swig drinks fit in the, in the Tesla. Nobody ever shows, like they all show cans or a lot of people drink coffee. We drink soda. So let's see if they fit. All right, thank you. Wait, does it fit? It fits! Oh. Here we go. This already feels so weird. Does it feel heavy to you? A little bit, the car? I know what you're saying. All right. Oh Come on, you can do oh it. Oh my god. Hold on to those drinks. Oh my gosh. Is that the weirdest feeling? There's no delay. It's like when you when you want to go, you just go. Oh my gosh. It's like the tightest feeling. I don't know, like there's no like like shuffle of the pedals. Like it's like when you go, when you push, it actually does exactly what you're saying when you say it. Like when you push, yeah, you know? I love it. What do you think? These are, I love these. The cup holders fit great if anybody lives in Utah. Oh, oh boy. The Audi wants to race us. That's an A7. Do they know he doesn't realize this is the performance. Oh my gosh. Are you just, in, are you loving it? I love it, babe. I'm not going to lie. I do. I think I officially just lost my brain. Okay. So overall. It's like an amazing car. Like you just take your foot off and it like stops. That's the regenerative braking. I think it feels weird. Like, apparently it does something with power. It's, it consumes power the way she set it up or something like that, but I think that- Consumes, conserves. Conserves. Kind of embarrassing when you correct me on the video in front of everybody. <laughs> maybe just well, let, did, maybe did, just let me I roll did, with what I, I say. Listen, I didn't want the viewers to think it would consume more. I wanted them to think it would conserve more. I feel like my fans just appreciate how I talk, you know however I do. I do talk. They do. 
I just didn't want them to be misinformed. Why are my blinkers on? How do I turn them off? <laughs> oh boy. Whoa. Oh my gosh, this, this interior I love. I will totally agree. It's just a fun car, huh? It's like a spaceship. It's not even like a regular car. It's like... like sorry guys, we're driving a spaceship. Yeah, it really is crazy. I feel so lucky that we have it. Oh my gosh. All right. Betsy's on autopilot now. Okay. No, click it again. Can it know to stop? Does it know to stop? Yeah, it will stop. It's it's freaky. I, don't like it, this, I no. think this is like gonna be one of those things where it's like, okay. Oh my gosh, whoa. Okay, go dad. <laughs> whoa! Dad, dad, dad. <laughs> whoa! What? Do that again, slow down. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, no, he touched you that again. again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoa! That's so weird! Oh my gosh! Dad, yeah, please tell me when you're gonna if do that. If I do it again. anymore, you're gonna be car sick. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> that is weird. Like an actual ride. <laughs> oh my gosh, that goes so fast. You just zoom. Like, yeah, like my neck, I kind of hurt when we did that. I was so cool. It, yeah, it feels like it's like. Hey, I want you guys to tell me if it's if you feel like it's faster than California screaming. It's okay. so smooth. <laughs> yeah, it's smoother yeah. too. It's way smooth. Way I'm smoother. I already know it's smoother than California screaming. Whoa. Wait, is your um is your case? I can do my makeup. If your case is too fat, you can literally so you can take that off. Mom, like, look at these off. lights. You just push the lights. So yeah, and they're so much fun to hang up. Hang like, mm -hmm. I literally feel like I'm in a marshmallow. Really? I'm yeah, like looking outside. I like when it's like really like when there's a ton of stars out at night. Okay, guys, get ready. Okay. Just go nice and slow. Let's get in the middle lane. And. Stop, baby. That feels like a roller coaster. <laughs> Whoa. That was now I'm gonna do sweet. the self driving, okay? Okay. So double click, self driving. Oh my gosh. No way. And now, hands free. And now, what's cool is now if I want to just get in the right lane, I just go over and then it merges for me. This is kind of scary. Not hands. And then now it recognizes that car in front of us. Yeah. So basically so what I'm sick. doing is I'm just surveying the car. Like I'm just <laughs> surveying the road and the car. It's a different type of driving. All right, grab the shoes. Huh? Do it from your app. I don't know how. You get in the front. How? Okay. And click it. Well, I just want to touch it. I don't want to have to do that. Well, sorry. Welcome to the Tesla world. 